this is going to be a very random moment in episode five. To Melang, to Melang, to Melang. Hey guys, Samanani to Melang. Actually, hello. Um, the most challenging key for Ren. Can you keep? It's not a keep. The most challenging key for Ren new, new from the box. Okay, let me not distract myself. Hey guys, hi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I can't get a firm grip on my intro, guys. Like, it's all over the place. But it's fine because I want this um, platform or I want my content on this platform to be as organic as possible. I want you guys to know the real organic me. I don't want to look rehearsed. I don't want to feel rehearsed. But speaking of intros, guys... Like, oh, they're always playing outside outside guys but very late but okay let me not digress speaking of intros guys um in my first intro i did say this is pearl's diary where we vlog vent and venture into different spheres of my life and yeah for the past month for the past floor for the past four episodes four four episodes um i've been trying to introduce you guys to me who i am my life my routine just the things i do and i will keep on doing that um but i thought why not sit down with my lovely subbies my lovely cyclists and tell them explain to them just talk to them and tell them where this bicycle is going um so yeah guys um my intention with starting this vlog um, first of all was to build social presence um social presence on you know yeah just build social presence on these platforms um these digital platforms and um my second reason was to allow you guys to get to know me not just my subbies even the new baby booze who just recently hopped onto this bicycle you're welcome my loves like i said we're all still new we're all still very new in here <laughs> um yeah so it was to allow you guys to get to know me you know and the third one is my ultimate goal which is to start a young podcast a young potty someone said um companies or whatever people should should start banning podcast equipment please guys please don't don't wish that upon us we, what no hold on hold this hold on me too i'm food i want to start a podcast so yeah that's the ultimate goal is to start a podcast but i will still be vlogging um, allowing you guys to get to know me so that you can sit through an entire hour or two of me just just talking and i don't do that often guys i don't like if you know me in real life you know i don't do it often so <laughs> come on here's a chance for you to watch me brat 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 for like a good hour so yeah um i guess my first and second reason kind of just like um fortify my third reason which is to start a podcast um and it's going to be a young geeking at a podcast um because your girl is a 
software engineer with multimedia degree holder. So obviously, obviously, I would like to impart my knowledge in that you know field and learn while I do it from you guys. Um, like I said, my channel, my podcast, okay, my pod podcast is not here yet, but my vlog is an interactive space, and I, I like, I would like for my subbies to talk to me. But they barely talk to me. They hardly talk to the girl. I don't know. I don't know. But you, you know what, guys? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be too fussy about that because me too. I'm a very slow burner in real life. Uh, but you know, in front of the camera, clearly, yeah, be better. Clearly, yeah, brother. But in real life, I'm a slow burner. <laughs> I'm a slow burner in real life. I'm highly introverted. So, I don't know what I'm doing. I used to be comfortable enough who well in. No, I'm not angry. It's fine. I get it. I get it. So, um, yeah, I have a BSc degree in software engineering and multimedia. And I would very much so like to impart that knowledge and learn from you guys. Um, but also make it a very fun experience. So, yeah, the podcast is very much still in the inception stages. Um, I'm still yet to, I'm still trying to gather more equipment right now since I've just moved out. Uh, I'm trying to get Wi Fi in my place. And then from that, we'll move on to like a camera. Um, we'll move on to microphones, we'll move on to a nice laptop. Um, so this, this, this journey, this ride is going to be long. Like we might just go through this entire year with me gathering podcast equipment, but podcast theater guys. So yeah, even though Santana goes well, we'll get there. Trust me, we'll get there. I believe we'll get there because your girl, your girl serves a living God. Oh my God, don't play. Me, my God, don't play. So, yeah, guys, um, right now, I am going to clean the house. I am going to clean the house, cook dinner and tomorrow's lunch. And I'm going to work on that painting, that monstrosity of a painting. <laughs> It's stressing me out. Um, so, yeah, guys, I hope you had a good Monday. Today is Tuesday. I, I hope you had a good Tuesday, guys. I'm losing track of time. I hope you had a good Tuesday. Um, I also hope you had a good Monday yesterday. Um, so, yeah. We'll, we'll talk. Um, guys, I just realized that I forgot to explain one other pivotal uh, part about me, I think. I think it's pivotal. I am also an art enthusiast. I have been into drawing, painting, visual arts, essentially since I was a child. Um, I got to do it as a subject in high school. I did art at much having college. I just needed to I'm looking at my I'm looking at myself like that This cake is self centered you guys <laughs> why do I like looking at myself? Ah uh, anyway I was explaining to you guys one other pivotal part about me that will help shed some light on why I will always be talking about painting, painting fabric, painting whatever it is I'll be painting for clients. Um, I'm also an art enthusiast. I did art as a subject. I took art as a subject and much having college. I just needed to clarify that because I'm gonna. A lot of schools don't have 
subjects that are extracurricular me you know i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm not shaming i'm not judging i'm just saying just to clarify so i i did i took art as a subject and that really like sharpened my skill deepened my love for for, for visual arts <laughs> so it's been a long day and i'm tripping over my words anyway it deepened my love for visual art and i just kind of took it and ran with it you know so i paint i mostly paint i can use all media but i mostly paint now i think it's the medium i'm really enjoying currently i don't know if i'll move on to i'll move back to i'll, I'll focus more on other media um but the 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 piece i showed you guys on my last vlog on episode four was a an oil pastel it was an oil pastel and i think it was also acrylic there was some acrylic paint in there so yeah i, I enjoy old media honestly oil pastel chalk pastel paint pencil pen you name it but right now i'm focusing a lot on um fabric paint i paint bags i paint jackets i'll paint your shoes if you want me to for a price <laughs> um uh i also paint on canvas so yeah that i do as my side hustle i do as part of my small yana business thing Anyway, yeah, so just need to explain that. Let me just get back to cleaning the house and cooking because the sun is setting and it will be civil and I'm going to get grumpy when I don't sleep. And I also want to start working on my, my painting and I have a lot to do. So yeah, guys. morning guys welcome back to my youtube channel all purposes intended we'll call it pearl's diary if you were new here hi if you go fail as on bonke babes we're all new um but if you've been here since day uno man Thank you, thank you so much. My love goes out to you, baby boo. I'm trying to make an intro, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to make an intro. Um, it is Saturday morning, Sabbath morning. I told you guys I am Seventh-day Adventist. And in episode three, I tried to let you guys in on my walk with Christ. Um, as one of my friends had suggested I do. Um, yeah, so I decided, you know what, it's Sabbath morning. I'm getting ready to go to church. Why not talk to you guys while I do it? It's not a get ready with me type of vlog because I don't have the proper equipment to do all of that with you guys. Yeah, you guys will have to be patient with me until i have like proper proper equipment to do stuff like that with you but i will talk with you as i get ready it's not get ready with me guys i'm clarifying again i'm clarifying again um but i will keep talking to you guys with each stage that i complete with me getting ready to go to church um but yeah guys why not start with introducing my faith to you guys um I'm sure some of you guys have an idea what adventism is some of you guys are probably adventists and some have always been curious what's up what's up guys um yeah just uh, as our name implies seventh day adventist we observe the seventh day sabbath which is saturday yes saturday is the seventh day of the week um adventists we are waiting 
for the advent of Christ, basically. Yeah, the second coming of Christ. Um, like I mentioned last week, um, yeah, like I mentioned last week, guys, um, my granddad was one of the pioneers of the Adventist church in Lesotho. So I was born and bred into this religion, into this doctrine. But what I love about my religion is it allows for <clears throat> um, free thought. So you are allowed to question things. No one is going to stop you. If anything, those who are knowledgeable will answer you. So just because I'm born and bred in this religion doesn't necessarily mean I was forced to be in this religion. Um, we... How do I put this? For us, baptism happens um, when you are 12 years old and older. So we believe that when a child is 12 years old, they have somewhat of an idea or somewhat of a capacity to make life-changing decisions or like, yeah, like baptism. So yeah but if you feel like at 12 years old you're still not ready you can get baptized anytime really it's all about your conviction it's all about when you feel like the spirit has moved you to accept the faith so yeah um with that said uh like i touched on in the previous vlog um just because i was born and bred into the religion doesn't mean I automatically was like, yes, this is the place. I too had questions. I too questioned some things. Um, and I prayed and I I, I tried to, I, I discovered Christ on my own. I strive to have a relationship with Christ because salvation is a personal matter. Also just because you're Adventist doesn't mean you are working with Christ. Guys, Adventism is a lifestyle, it's a religion, but your faith is with Christ. So, yeah. I hope I'm not rambling, guys. I hope I'm not rambling because I, I feel like I should have, like, prepared the Q Kazinya. <laughs> it's a real presentation, but I'm trying to make this as organic as possible. So, yeah, that's my belief, honestly. Adventism does not mean you have a relationship with Christ. It's, 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 it's... The doctrine, yes. The belief is you take up that doctrine, you accept that faith because you are with Christ. But like I said, there are some of us who are born and bred into the Adventist church, and for some time, honestly, and I'm gonna be frank, for some time you are just in the Adventist church because your parents bring you to church. And unfortunately, some people just grow up like that and they're just Adventists because they're Adventists, because their parents were Adventists, because they're second generation Adventists, third generation Adventists, but it doesn't really mean anything um, to them. And that's what I discovered in my walk with Christ. At some point, I was like, <clears throat> da -dum -dum. yeah, I, I come to church because my parents come to church. I'm active in the church because I was raised to do that, God Children's Ministries, but do I really know you? My guy, do I really know you? And that's where my journey with Christ started. I think I was in my late teens, but I, I was already baptized. By the time I got baptized, when I got baptized, I was convinced by the Holy Spirit to do it. I didn't get baptized when I was 12. I think I was, I think I was 16. I was like, okay, you know what? Let, let's do this. Let's do this. And can I just say, after baptism, my fellow Adventists will, un I will understand this. After baptism, the enemy, <laughs> the enemy will come for you. Temptation left, right, and center. Guru, 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 guru. Guys, you are just tumbling and rolling in the dust of temptation. Guru, 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 guru. Hey! Yo! I'm telling you, this is why some people come back years later to get rebaptized because. <laughs> The enemy's like, ah, you're saying you are, you are firm in the faith. I come through. And honestly, we're human. We're human. We get tested. We get tried. We get, we get tempted. It, it is what it is. Um, 
but as long as you're able to pick yourself up and say listen father lord christ actually i want your kingdom i want to be in your kingdom so pick me up from this dust and let's let's do this again <laughs> i've been there definitely been there <laughs> hey <laughs> what so yeah um eventually i was like you know what christ i want to get to know you i want to i want to get to understand you and even in my religion i was like i want to understand why we're doing stuff like this why 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 is this happening why are we going to church on okay i i i was previewed into why we go to church on saturday from when i was young so that that part i didn't really question it was crystal clear clear as day so yeah but like small things like ellen g white you know um whom the adventist church believes is was a true prophet of of, of god i questioned her writings uh, but what i did realize is i hadn't read her writings so how white you cringe a bit if you haven't read her writings if you haven't you cringe because um there's a <laughs> there's a huge misconception about that lady and her work and, uh, and her work in the ministry of christ there's a huge misconception but i started reading desire of ages and i realized it's one of her books the desire of ages and i realized why the adventist church keeps saying she is the lesser light to the bigger light meaning her writings her prophecies are like they shed a small light to the big light which is which is the gospel of god the bible i read the desire of ages and i said rah rah this book explains the bible the bible makes not more sense but like it's clear rah when you couple it with uh miss ellen g white's writings i okay so yeah um you know also when it comes to faith and you know walking with christ you walk you fall you walk you fall you walk you fall like this is why paul in the bible says um you know daily he he dies like you walk you fall you walk guys you walk you fall you walk you fall you walk you fall what really matters is you're able to pick yourself up from the fall and be like christ i still want your kingdom it's a struggle it is a real struggle and i love that the adventist church understands that they understand they understand humanity man <laughs> you know this is why you need to walk with christ you can't do it alone definitely you can't do it alone that's my belief so let me get ready let me shower um I hope, I hope this little seven minute of mine makes sense. Let me take a shower, get ready to go to church, and I'll keep talking to you when I'm able to talk to you throughout the day. Um, I did not introduce this vlog. It is a weekend vlog, meaning I'll just be showing today's events and tomorrow's. Tomorrow I am going to my aunt's birthday, so I get to show you my family. So yeah, guys. Hey guys, hey hey hey! I just finished getting ready. I just finished getting ready. I am about to head out, go to church. I am so late. I'm not proud. I'm actually not proud. But before I leave, let me clarify something earlier when I said, "Uh, Paul says I die daily." It means dying to self-indulgence. So when I said, we walk with Christ, you fall, you walk, you fall, you get up, you walk, you fall, you get up, you walk. I mean, when you fall, that's when you fall into self-indulgence, when you fall into sin. And when you get up, that is when you die to self. So you leave your self-indulgence self 
You leave yourself indulgence on the floor, buried in the dust, walk with Christ. That thing comes back and haunts you and then you fall. Well, so, yeah. Getting up, dusting yourself up, that's dying, daily dying to self and taking up that cross and walking with Christ. So, yeah, guys, before I get any later than I am, is that even English? Hey, guys, slim crew. Hey, um, before I get any late, any more late, I'm well at work. Anyway, <laughs> let me go to church because the Sabbath is Holy Communion and I don't want to be late for that. So, hey guys. So this is Sunday and the lighting sucks because we're taking a video at is it 1 30 p.m. So the sun is actually right it's above us. Literally before golden hour, but it's fine. I'm with my broski. Hello. Or with the fam. I'm with the I'm fam. With the fam. <laughs> and I told you guys you see the rest of okay, not the rest of my family, some of my family, so let's go. I am off to work. I don't have much to say really. <laughs> this is going to be a very random moment in episode 5. This moment right now. This clip right now. But I'll be cute while doing this random thing. So yeah guys. Hey guys. So I'm at work having lunch. Okay, I just finished my lunch, but I'm still in my lunch hour, still chilling, relaxing, just shooting some people outside of the school, and a couple of guys that were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got him one loaf, I am a mom guys. He said, you're moving with your auntie and I'm going to be <laughs> Um, again, very random moment, but guys, the way my skin has been popping lately, you know, I told myself that starting from this year, I'm no longer going to eat white bread. I'm no longer drinking coffee. I'm no longer drinking Coke. I just cut off a lot in my diet and my skin is thanking me. And on Monday, my mom was like, oh, your skin looks gorgeous, babes. And I was like, ah. Cause you know, I come from from my mama. Like my mom loves me, but you know how moms are. They're always nitpicking on things they don't think looks right about you. Like your weight, your what, your your hair, your choice of outfit. So when she told me my skin was popping, I said, "It really is popping. It really is popping." Okay, guys, let me let me love you and leave you, and let's walk. A few moments later. My ovaries. Guys, my ovaries are testing me. The way my ovaries always threatening to kill me, guys. Like, the way my ovaries always threatening to take me out. Hmm. I just got back home. I... Just got back from my after work walk and I am ovulating. So I'm one of those people who can feel their, I'm one of those women who can feel their ovulation. And I'm telling you right now, it sucks. 
it sucks. Yo, I didn't think I was going to make it home, guys. Like, I took longer than usual to walk back home. Because I didn't know if I was going to survive the walk. With each step, with, with each sway, the pain got worse. Guys, yay. I feel like very few women will understand the pain of ovulation because some women don't even feel themselves ovulate. It's a stabbing pain. It feels like someone stuck a knife on the side of your waist. It, oh, guys. So I just got back home. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to deal with this pain ease the pain um i just wanted to talk about something else i've forgotten because my brain is focusing on this pain um i actually had something to say and i feel like it was such an insightful thing <laughs> I feel like it was such an insightful thing and I've forgotten what it is. Um, you know what, guys? Let me just end this day on this somber note, unfortunately. And let me just take out the time to just nurse myself. I just need to nurse myself. I just need to make myself feel special because not special, just like cared for by me. For me. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Morning, guys. Um, I woke up feeling better in terms of the stabbing pain eating away or ebbing away anyway um the pain is gone the ovulation pain is gone but now i have a headache and i am so late for work because i woke up cuddling this headache basically cuddling my head um the human body guys is special the ovaries the woman's ovaries. Ah, I promise you, my, my ovaries have a vendetta, have a, a vendetta against me or something. I, like, don't I love you? Don't I take care of you? Why are you doing this to me? But guys, I'm late for work, so let me go. There are men on this my blue app. Okay, it's not my blue app, it's Mark's blue app. But there are men on Mark's blue app who have been saying, who have noticed, have been saying some of the most insightful and wholesome things. And like, just their general perspective to, you know, masculinity, manhood, the likes you know the relationship dynamic you know romantic relationship dynamic how a man should be treating a woman how a man should be conducting himself can i just say it is so refreshing to discover or you know notice men who think like that especially Amara, this whole wave yeah andrew tate women in shit women my triple six wow 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 what we don't need hey hey you know especially after that wave of you get what i'm trying to say seeing a man embrace his masculinity in the truest sense and not being afraid to you know stand on business and not being afraid to you know be public or go public with his opinion. Ah, 
you guys have my respect like love it love it hi guys um i have just decided to do a young tell all um i did my outro this morning but as i was um as i was coming back home from work i thought to myself you know what this vlog is supposed to be an introductory vlog to me i got lost along the way <laughs> this is why you will notice some random parts i got lost in the in the jizz in the okay no not in the jizz oh my gosh i wanted to say i got lost in the riz but i was like no i wasn't being rizzed then i don't know why my mind went to jizz because jizz is not i did not get lost in the jizz guys anyway um yeah so i decided to do a to do a young tell all um you might have noticed that in my in my last in episode four in my last vlog i was a bit cryptic with i was a bit cryptic with um my walk with christ um yeah i was all over the place even earlier this week you get to you you would have seen it in the vlog i was a bit cryptic but i just decided it's because first of all i was a bit cryptic because um i'm trying to to be real and raw but i'm also trying to be as private as possible i am also trying to keep some details to myself because like i mentioned my parents watch my vlogs <clears throat> my mom knows she's privy to like pretty much probably like 90 percent of my life if not 98 <laughs> percent but my dad god bless his soul that the same there are some things that him and i both know he's not supposed to know about me <laughs> he's comfortable with that and i'm not i'm not about to do that to him so i am sweating guys like this weather is all over the place in the mornings it feels like maria kala in the afternoons it feels like samaya kala all over Kabulwa in the heart of so i don't know but anyway let me not digress um so yeah i, I finally figured out a way to give you this tale and still keep things classy so i have mentioned earlier that i grew up in an adventist home i grew up in a christian home um and you know as we all know you know christian homes that certain things you are not expected to do certain things you're not uh, um, expected to indulge in um simply because you know that's the law of god and you know to love god is to obey him i've heard this so many times multiple times even on some of the podcasts i've been watching um i was watching uh, it's called seated with tato and Lebo yeah um i was watching the recent episode the one with mommy dearest and kaya m and yo those ladies my gosh like i cannot wait to watch their podcast <laughs> like i'm ready to watch it um yeah and you know mommy was like um she realized that to love god is to obey him so definitely that is what's expected in a christian home obviously um so yeah um i pretty much grew up a good christian girl i did not indulge in most in all things i think i was pretty much a good a goody two-shoes girl uh, until you know late teens when you start being curious about certain things but you still have your limit with other things but definitely i could say um when i was like 23 i literally let, let loose i was like i'm gonna indulge in not all things don't get me wrong but in some things i was like and I think it was because I felt like for some time in my life, God wasn't hearing me. Like I was praying, you know, I, we all have desires, you know, certain desires. And I'm not talking about like flimsy desires. I'm talking like, you know, 
um, important, like substantial things, you know, that contribute to your growth, you know, in your life. Um, uh, you know, I, I just like been through such a horrible, dis uh, devast such a horrible disappointment, such a devastating disappointment. And I'm using my metrics to make that judgment. It was a devastating um, disappointment. I had wanted to study outside my country, my home country. That didn't happen. That really broke my heart. That really broke me because, um, like I said, I was a goody two shoes girl, man. I was, I was a good church girl. I was a good girl at school. I was brilliant fam like I, I was a dedicated student and i still didn't get to go to the schools i wanted and that really broke my heart uh i became a bit resentful um and that happened when i was like 19 i think um so i became really resentful and like a bit lost and when i was 23 i hit my fuck it stage i was like you know what like i'm a good girl I'm a good daughter. I'm a good student. <sighs> like I serve you in church. Do you get me? Like what am I like? And you're not hearing me, so <sighs> I'm gonna live my life. And I went rogue. Indulged in certain things. Emphasis on the word things. I will not. <laughs> I won't specify what, what those things are. I will leave it to your imagination. And actually, kikiriwak awo ngataka plural. Um, I indulged in certain things, um, and like, yeah, I was like, fuck it, man. Uh, vida la vida, man. Like, vida la loca, let's go. And in my vida la loca stage, did life not shamble me? Hey, did the enemy not show me? that I'm not his friend. <laughs> eh? Did life not shambok me? Yeah. I said, whoa. I said, team Jesus is the way. <laughs> I said, I'm safer there. <laughs> he might, actually, his answer to some of my prayers would be, like, could be no whatever the case will wait it's fine that side that side that side is safer man this side it's shambok after shambok like you will live life it will be fun it will be nice but when the shambok comes hey you would have not spared it you would have not spared it so yeah <clears throat> and you know even throughout my vida la loca face um phase um god had always been trying to reach out to me let me get one thing straight i didn't leave church during that period i was still very much a church girl but i i was a bit withdrawn from like the ministry i'll just be like i need a break i don't want to do this i i would like slack even with you know some tasks some tasks i was given in church i was just like i'm not having it i'm just not mm. And I think a lot of people, especially in my church community, a lot of Adventists probably won't even notice the slight change in my behavior or whatever the case might have been. Um, but like people who are really close to me would have noticed. So, mm. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I still very much enjoy group, just certain certain settings and ambiances that groove like i'm now able to discern and decipher which places i want to be in and which i just don't want to be in so yeah i'll get to that point a bit later in this tale all i hope it takes a week at billing but i don't think so <laughs> um so yeah even throughout my Vida La Loca stage, God had been trying to reach out to me and I just kept shutting him out because I was very, I was very angry at God. I was very, I was very resentful towards God because I was like, I stick to your ways. I obey you. I serve you in church. I pray you don't hear me. Now you're trying to reach out to me when I live my life the way I want to. Uh, excuse me, sir. What? So I really much shut him out, but 
thank God for the Holy Spirit because we all had a long to hold and just be like say so like <laughs> after my 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 uh angry um my my angry what do I call these like after my event sessions to God and like after my rebuttals to like God you know calling to to me and stuff the Holy Spirit would be like it is so repel you're not supposed to say that and i'll just be like sorry god but i'm still angry like i still need my space but you know what even throughout the shambok when the shambok started ruling it god was still faithful he still had my back listen when i tell you that is my man and i'm gonna stick beside him i'm not kidding i'm not kidding because even now I still experience, you know, those anger spurts where I just feel like, like, why, 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 why? But this time I, I'm just like, you know what, God, I can't live without you. My guy, I can't live without you. It's fine. Maybe you're flexing on me. <laughs> I'm nothing without you. It's okay. But I'm not happy, you know. So definitely my perspective is beginning to change um or like my reactions to disappointment they're still very much the same i still need to work on my temper when i'm angry but i am now moving shifting towards a shifting from a place of resentfulness to just like acknowledgement yeah like it's fine couple the answer is no couple not now um but just know that i know that i'm nothing without you and it's okay it's fine so um yeah definitely um after the whole shambox and stuff i started recoiling a bit going back to god and realizing like the man who actually has my back is jc okay the enemy is not my friend i'm not his friend he's not my bee's nails i'm not mm, you know so i started recoiling recoiling started seeking god rediscovering god in my life and recently i made a decision to abstain from some of the things things I decided to abstain from some of the things i had indulged in and i feel like it's been such a burden off my shoulders first of all um it has even helped me it's starting to help me rediscover me who i was before the disappointments the you you know etc cetera, etc cetera. like i feel like i'm starting to rediscover my voice rediscover who god has created me to be like it's been absolutely wonderful am i still experiencing some disappointments yes do i still have some vent sessions with god yeah i'm still like the dumb game kunini kunini tandaza kuwe no guys i hope mazul zulus i hope i didn't mess up your language but yo kunini for the lord you tandaza But like I said, um, I'm shifting from a place of resentment to just like acknowledgement of God's power and like the role he plays in my life. For it, I'm absolutely nothing without you, my guy. Hey, how good I got so far currently, and I need this thing I'm praying for, but you're just like, nah. I'll just continue to acknowledge okay, it as well. It is well like i still there's no way i'm gonna back off from you there's no way i'm gonna walk away from you because if i walk away from you it's death like that shambok i experienced during my vida la loca phase it showed me if i stayed longer i was dying i was <laughs> i was gonna die so i feel like i summed up my walk with christ thus far so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little tell all and yeah, let me get ready for, let me get ready for Sabbath. Tomorrow it is Sabbath. So it is currently preparation time. 
you know um one thing about my church is we observe the biblical calendar so our days or the day according to the creation story starts kasanset and ends kasanset so the sun is setting which means it's almost saturday it's almost sabbath and on sabbath we rest we don't work so i best you know get ready get like clean the house do whatever work get it out of the way clean the house cook for tomorrow get that done so that when it's sunset i'm done and i'm resting so that's that guys see you on my next vloggity vlog please remember to like comment and subscribe but if you guys are gonna comment can I question now what are those things when for four entire weeks i've been saying comment 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 and you keep quiet i'm not gonna answer that one so yeah morning guys um it is friday morning um it is international women's day i don't have clothes in the shade purple i just don't have purple clothes so i decided to wear pink it's close enough guys it's close enough so it is international women's day happy international women's day to all our mothers our sisters our besties you are loved, you are appreciated, you are noticed. Um, yeah, happy International Women's Day to me too. Hello. <laughs> um, it is also the beginning of a long weekend in my country. Um, on Monday, the 11th of March is Mushesha's day. Mushesha is our founder. King Mushesha is our founder, our leader, the leader of our nation. I could say many great things, but I just don't know where to, where to start. I'm also not very great with history. But yeah, guys, <laughs> enjoy, enjoy that day set aside to commemorate our founder um i've also decided to end the vlog here this is probably going to be the most random episode because nothing much was going on but at least you guys uh, got to see some progress in my painting oh i am moving at a snail's pace guys like it's frustrating me it's frustrating me because i honestly cannot wait to start showing you the part by paint and stuff i also can't wait to see what it's gonna look like but i'm trying to be as patient as possible with myself in the process um but yeah guys enjoy your long weekend and I'm about to tell you it's happy. I don't know if talk. I'm But guys, enjoy your long weekend. And yeah, guys.